Yo. All right, welcome, welcome. We made it to the weekend. It's a Friday, yes. <clears throat> now I know the gameplay reveal for College Football 25 is coming out today, probably very soon, and that's okay. So we will check that out once we're done. Um, if the gameplay is good, you will see Dynasties on Twitch and on YouTube. <clears throat> if the gameplay is ass, then all we're going to do is sim and uh, work with the recruiting system and all that stuff and try and build winning teams uh, that will win in the sim. It's that simple. So there will be content on my channel. Whether it's actual gameplay or just sim depends on how good the gameplay is. So that takes care of that right off the rip. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, and you can see here we have a five and a half game lead with one month to go. And we have our rookie pitcher, Andrew Painter, with 14 wins. And the uh, leading candidate for Rookie of the Year, which would give us an extra high draft pick next year. So, that is awesome. And, let me go back here. If we go down here to AAA, you will see that Chris Cutliff, our first-round pick from 2024 draft, is 5-4 and four with a 213 ERA and a 098 whip. And he's up to a 77 overall. He's doing great in the sim. He does great when we pitch with him. We just had a two-hit, ten-strikeout game. He only went eight innings, and we lost because the offense couldn't score any runs. Um, but he pitched awesome. So um, one of these three guys is going to be our fifth starter next year. And right now, based on how they're playing in the sim and everything else, Chris Cutloff has the inside job, and he's actually passed them in overall. So... I would be shocked if Chris Cutliff was not our fifth starter next year. So, we have that to look forward to. Anyway, let's get in here. Um, I'm going to play three games today, so we're going to start real quick by playing and going. Um, I need to get back into playing full games because we have the playoffs coming up next episode. So, we're definitely going to play a game against the Brewers. Um... Playing against the Brewers, we'll probably play a home game against the Reds and then go to the Pirates. If Painter pitches in this last series against the Pirates, we will definitely pitch with him. So all division games for gameplay this time and uh, probably no player locks and uh, we're just going to go. So let's uh, get going and hop in. Um, and I did do September call-ups. Hold on. Let me show you this. We recalled Henry Davis and A.J. Smith-Shauver. Smith-Shauver is going to be long reliever, and Davis gives us another catcher, another outfielder, and another bat. So that's that. All right. Let's go. Oh, and I want to make one change because... It will affect his defense. We're going to make Brendan Donovan's starting position left field. Um, one, it'll help him get a gold glove. And two, it'll help his defense. <laughs> he won't have to play with his secondary ratings. He'll actually get to play with his regular defensive ratings. So I should have done that last year. Anyway, here we go. Let's just fast sim. And we lose 8-5 to five to Seattle. Home run by Gorman. Frommer got lit up. So did Barlow. All right, Sonny. They come back with a 13-6 to six win. Tommy Edmond with two homers. Jordan Walker with a home run. Sonny Gray. Ugh. Zach Thompson. Ugh. 
We survived, that's all I can say. So we had a five game lead now. What is Tommy Edmond looking like? The dude's got 23 home runs. That's crazy. He's almost going to drive in 90 runs. Walker needs three for 100. Uh, Naylor needs 10. Edmund goes nuts this uh, this episode. You may We could end up with three guys with 100 RBIs. That's crazy. All right. Tanner Bybee, Spencer Strider. And we lose 8-4. to four. Not surprised. Bueller gets the win. Home run by Naylor. Six walks is ugh. And the final game of that series, we win six to five. Four more RBIs this time for Contreras. Home run by Newt Bar, two by Contreras, one by Win. Painter did not pitch great, got the no decision. Bullpen bailed us out. And we have a six game lead. So even though we're not playing great, playing. We've gone three and two since we started this this uh, <clears throat> why my mic is quiet. Hold on, let me fix something here. <laughs> Recording microphone. Turn up the levels. See if that works. There we go. Much better. Now I don't have to yell. <clears throat> All right. From our sunny, let's pitch as. Let's pitch this game with Sonny because we're getting to the end of using him. <clears throat> I mean, this one, two, three, four, five painters there. One, two, three, four. Painter will be there. Or Valdez. Two, th yeah, looks like. One, two, three, four. Looks like Painter would pitch one of these two games. Okay. All right, so we'll go Sunny here. Close that out. <laughs> And ring Gifo. Naylor, win. Walker with home runs. Naylor, two more ribbies. Edmund with a ribby. Walker with a ribby. Valdez pitched okay. Cano did not, but we got the win anyway. 89 wins, so let's go sit. God, we're up to a seven-game lead. All right. We picked up a game-and-a-half lead since we started simming. So... We are going to play this full game. Put unis. Let's put them on those. And let's give us our red jerseys with our regular hat. Yeah. And here we go. Anybody, anyway, anybody just popping in? We're playing playing f three full games today. There'll be no uh, player locks necessarily. Might be one or two if I really want to look at something, but we're going to play some games because we have got to play all of our games in the playoffs, and I need to get back into the flow of playing every single game. So... Unless there are some people over on YouTube that prefer full games over the player locks. So, got to appease everybody that we can. Kind of hung that. He didn't get it. Got under it. Now we take a check of the St. Louis 
All right, Josh. He's got 96 RBIs with scoreboard stuff. <clears throat> we should be in the running for MVP, but he might not make it to the top three. He should, but he might not. So, one of my uh, offline franchises, fucking Otani, hit 64 home runs in one year. Drove in 150. It's ridiculous. All right, Jaywalk. He is at 100 RBI, so his last game got him to the century mark. Yay. 30 and 100 for back to back seasons. Man, that bad boy is gone. Adios, Peralta. <laughs> he could put them ten games out with a sweep. Actually, it would be nine games out because that last win got us to seven. So we would put a stranglehold on the division. Ooh, nice pitch. <clears throat> I can't believe he fielded that ball. He was hit it straight at him. If he goes to his left or right, he can't get it. I was reading uh, other people's posts on uh, Reddit about the defense in this game sucking. Eventful first for them. Good, good, good. <sighs> ah, gonna wait for that. Let's put this over here. I will uh, continue to make MLB The Show um, franchise streams, videos, um, even after the college football game comes out. May not be as frequent, but we will still be playing our Cardinals franchise well into the winter, fall and winter. to see how my schedule works. We might alternate. We might um, do like one week of one and one week of the other to get a break. We'll see. If the gameplay is ass for college football, then there's probably a good chance that I just uh, make individual episodes and just post them straight to YouTube and not stream it. Does it 
I'll check all that stuff out after I'm done. I knew I was going to be streaming at the same time, but I got to get this shit done when I can. Welcome in, Cincy. Uh, here, let me shout you out. Go see my friend Cincy. He loves to play uh, online Diamond Dynasty. I don't. He's also in our uh, user versus user NCAA football league. So welcome in, man. I think I have it up on YouTube behind my uh, Streamlabs over here on my other monitor. Yeah, I would. I want to play the game. Okay, I am one of those. I'm from Missouri. You got to show me. I can't trust word of mouth. I need to see it. Um. So I really want it to to be good. I don't have any faith in EA so if it's a good game I will be pumping it like crazy but I'm not gonna just blindly believe anything they say or do so let me see if they've got this up over here well said it my dogs are outside don't show me the cutscenes. Show me the real gameplay. All right, well, I'm on the wrong one here. We'll just minimize that. I'll worry about it later. I'll just go watch their shit later. <clears throat> My dogs want in, so as soon as I deal with Adamus, I will have to go let them in. There we go. Hold on. Come on, inside. Hi. All right. You two go lay down. Looks like it's going to rain outside. It wasn't supposed to rain till tomorrow. Go lay down. Glad I got the uh, rest of the backyard cut yesterday. Hey Cincy, do you uh, do you have a? Are they live streaming it right now from EA? If they are, can you drop the link in chat so I can uh, look at it later? If you're not, it's no big deal. over so I just need to go to EA's uh, YouTube channel I'm sure it'll be posted on reddit or Twitter or somewhere ah just missed that there's a feature in these uh, jerseys there's a wavy line that's supposed to be like water for the river for the Mississippi and it looks like a pinstripe in these uniforms Thank you. I will click that and load it up and save that for later. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, man. If the uh, if the gameplay is good. Obviously, that means we'll have uh, Danny and JT back playing full-time. Unless they don't have a PS5. Hey, Donnie's got an 11-game streak. Um, honestly, I don't want, like, 18 guys and they're all douchebags. <laughs> it's hard enough getting games in now. get through no what a fucking play God. these guys play defense like gold glovers all over the place and we can't even feel it 
Forty nine got a PS five. Yeah, I bought one last year when the game was supposed to come out. So, um, was not happy when the game didn't come out last year, but it also meant that I uh, I could build stadiums with MLB The Show. So that was that was uh, a side benefit. I haven't built any stadiums this year because the ones I made last year got to carry over. So there was no point in me building any stadiums this year. That's good. I've been... I wouldn't say I've been negative Nancy about it. I've just been like... Don't don't believe the hype. Wait until you actually see it and play it. Don't trust these motherfuckers because they've screwed people over in the past. As I've said in the past, when, these, when the uh, NCAA game was coming out every year, it was superior to Madden and... I never played Madden on a, on a console. Um, I just played on on PC. So when they were they took it away from PC and put it on console, I, I didn't play the game. Um, and then when they brought it back to PC is when I went back to playing Madden. But in the past, the NCAA game was. Far superior to Madden. This is a this is going to be a funny side benefit of this. If this game is better than Madden, people are not going to play Madden. They're just going to switch to this game, and sales for Madden's going to tank. <laughs> That's why they put that bundle together. There's no reason to buy that bundle if there, you can't share the draft class between the games. Because if the NCAA game is really good, no one's going to play Madden. They're going to be playing NCAA, right? Because we know Madden is straight up broken. Until they redesign that from the ground up. Here, the only good thing is, if this gameplay is better, then maybe... Spank you 619, thanks for the follow. If this game is better, then maybe they take a year and just do a roster update for Madden and don't do anything. Just give it a roster update, whatever, and work on redoing Madden so that it's the same kind of gameplay as this. Um, and then it would be worth having. But if one game's far superior than the other, people are just going to play a college football game instead of the pro football game. Also, did you see my note? Marvin Harrison Jr. is not going to be in Madden because he didn't sign the marketing agreement with the NFL Players Association, so they cannot use his name and likeness in the game. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. Man, had a sneeze coming, and it was coming, and I couldn't get it to go. Yeah, it does suck to be an Arizona fan. I don't know if they're going to do it like they used to do with MLB, where they had Reggie Stocker out there in left field. I assume they'll put somebody in the game that's a uh, stud wide receiver, but he can't be Ohio State. He can't be the same height and weight. So we'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> There we go. Get down, get down. Nope. Covers too much ground. That should have dropped. The ball stays in the air way too long with this game. <clears throat> Tommy Two Bags. He's up to 88 RBI. This guy's going nuts this year. He's hitting 300. Yeah, kind of hooked that. <clears throat> well, 
left that over the plate. There goes the perfect game. Tough play. God. Go from having... I go from having... No uh, spam phone calls for days on end, and then we get 19 of them in two days. These robocall people need to have their computers hacked and uh, taken down. Throw it. God, he took forever to unload the ball. What the fuck? He went. Thank you. Front of that one. There we go. One hit allowed, no damage. Let's go. Need some more runs. Can't keep relying on this one run to get us through. Only 17 home runs, but I do like the 71 ribs. Not bad for regressing catcher. Fortunately, unfortunately, I think we have at least two more years of him. Arnado, we got one year left. And that's if we decide to keep him. That was a terrible swing. <clears throat> this next offseason is going to be interesting which way I decided to go. So we have somebody in the minors that I could call up and move Gorman to third base. Call up Sejaci and put him at second base. Move Gorman to third. Defense is going to suck, but our defense hasn't been great at third, even with a gold glover. There's more balls hit up the middle than hit the third base, so... Could also move Donovan to third, put Walker back in left field, and put Gorman at DH and Sajazi at second. There's a lot of ways we can go. track shot no he jumps over the wall and catches it to rob a home run my goodness this is fucking bullshit <laughs> look at this catch this is a great catch damn it was like foot and a half over the wall when he caught that one look how high he skies on this one that's more like three feet over my goodness Robbed me of a home run. I'm not going to stop that one, though. And that's going to get down. He's going to go to third. Donnie's only going to get a single, but we got men at the corners with one out. So now we just need a fly ball. No ground balls. Need a fly ball. <clears throat> Come on, Josh. Your 99 clutch kicks in right here. Ah, swung under it. <clears throat> it was late. I was waiting, waited too much on that one. Ah, uh, 
That was a late swing. Really late swing. All right. Now we got to be defensive and just swing at whatever we can get contact with. Come on. Dig, 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 dig. That'll make sure there's no double play. Got the ribby. Jordan Walker, his second straight 3,100. Ooh. Man, if I could have waited just a touch longer. We have uh, mixed reviews on our third, our City Connect uniforms. You got some people who love them, some people that hate them. They hate that it says the Lou because a lot of us don't say the Lou. It's an it's an urban nickname. I'll just put it that way. It's an urban nickname, and they don't like it. But I told you guys weeks, months ago that if it didn't say the Lou, I was really going to be disappointed. And if they didn't have Nelly help introduce him, which he did, that would be another missed opportunity. So at least the Cardinals did something right for a change. They could have been a lot more um, out there with the design. They kept it kind of traditional. But uh, I think it's fine. But that patch on the sleeve with the arch and the fleur-de-lis and the STL should have been on the hat. But overall, they did a good job. Unlike Tampa Bay, unlike Toronto, unlike the Mets, some of these teams are just flat ass. They are terrible. Tampa Bay is, is such a dark gray, and they don't have any light coloring on their names and numbers that you can't tell who it is. It's like putting purple on black. You can't read it. Not without a stroke around it and outline. Well, got under and lifted that. All right, it's two down. Don't mind two out hits. As long as we can get the third out, no damage. If he wants to swing at that, we'll throw him another one even lower. All right, five shut up. Let's go. Could not wait. That should have been a blast. That was down here instead of up there. That was a home run. <clears throat> he's got 31 and 81, so he's not going to get to 90 RBI unless he goes nuts. He did not hit well in the clutch this year. Good pitch. Thought I had that. <clears throat> Come on, Lars. It's got to be the shoes. Man, that took off. Power sinker. Get through. Thank you. Up that batting average. drink on the floor so I don't slam the desk because my mic is hypersensitive right now. Get down. That's going to be three hits for Arenado. Boom. That's going to be a double. Dig, 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 dig. We'll hold him at third so we don't run into an out. There we go. 
Nolan doesn't want to leave. Come on, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. This will get you over 90. Struck one into the gap, and then I'll give you 90 ribs. It'll give us three guys that should have 90. Four guys. Gorman gets to 90. We'll have four guys with 90 ribs. Because Naylor and Walker are going to have 100. Tommy's, this would give him 90. Gorman would have the uh, another chance to get to 90 also. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's see it and hit it. Yeah, battling. Battling. Let's go. Give me a pitch up. Just got a piece of that. Just got a piece of that. Let's go. Come on. I didn't notice they brought in a new pitcher. My printer just kicked on to clean itself. Oh, that might be a three-run bomb. That might be. Nope, it's going to be short. But it's going to be an RBI, and Arenado needs a hustle to get the third. There we go. That gives him 89 ribs. Man, if he had Walker or Gorman power, that would have been off the backdrop. Come on, Wilson. One more. As I said earlier, when we first started the stream, I'm playing three full games today. That's going to be about it. I need to get back into the the swing of playing full games because that's what we do in the playoff is we play every single game. And we, uh, we might start the playoffs tomorrow. We'll see. <clears throat> if we don't start it tomorrow morning, it'll be Tuesday. All right, we'll take that weak little flare to third base twice in a row. <clears throat> See if we can get out of here with a low pitch count inning. Be helpful to getting us a complete game, which our bullpen could use. Kill me. Let's throw my sinker. There we go. I just needed him to quit fouling balls off. Actually, I changed my mind. It needs to go back here. Koskis. All right. Come on, Mason. You got robbed last time, dude. <clears throat> this guy is a gold glove shortstop as a rookie this year in real life. He's had a 17-game hit streak. Pretty good chance he's in the running for National League Rookie of the Year. And a uh, really good guy. Best buddies with Jordan Walker, too. 
They were drafted in the same class. Walker was first round. Mason Wynn was second. <clears throat> Let's go. All right, Donnie here up to 310. Swung on to that one. I like to have 382 on base, and he's slugging 508 because he has 21 home runs. He is not a home run hitter. We've gotten 20 home runs out of Edmund and Donovan. Neither one of them have very high power numbers. But their contact is so high that sometimes they can they can smoke a ball. You wouldn't think they would and hit it out. Come on, Josh. Needs three for 100. Got in on me. Good pitch. Goes away, away, away. Up and in, and I get a piece of it. I just don't do anything with it. Just missed. That's foul. Ooh, just missed. It was close. Good eye, good eye. We were lucky that stayed in the park. <clears throat> oh, man. I am tired today. Very tired. Must not have slept well. And I was up to like 1.30 watching episodes of Yellowstone. I'm binge watching Yellowstone. Finally made it to the fifth series, the last series that they made, the last season they made. Um, yeah, three episodes to go and then I'll be completely caught up. And this guy throws nothing but heat, man. This is the uh, future closer for the Brewers. So it was 101 and then breaks off a slider like that. Oh, bad luck. Gorman's going to have to kind of go on a tear to get to 90 RBI, so it's probably not going to happen. Right 
No, Lars. See if you can get a hold of one. That would give you 20 home runs also. Nope. Nope. Got in on me. 100 miles an hour down and in is not easy to swing at. <laughs> All right. Nolan, you got two hits now. Get your average back up to 285. <clears throat> and you're one home run away from 20. That would give us like seven guys with 20 home runs. Make contact. All right, we got six outs to go. Yeah, I know he's getting tired. We're going to try and baby him through this inning. One pitch out is very helpful. Thank you very much. If we can get through this inning in the low 90s, he'll go out for the ninth and try and get a complete game shutout. Not gonna chance it. Come on, Jojo. Good job. I might just leave him in to get the save. We'll see who comes up in the ninth. <clears throat> if we score any more runs this uh, at-bat, then I'll definitely leave him in to get the save. There we go. Flip that to left field for a hit. I give him now. Should be close to 30. Yep, needs one more. <clears throat> 
Swing over to the top and hook that down. All right, Donovan, let's go. Uh, way out in front. Come on. Stay back and see it. Drive it. That's a shame. All right, JoJo's staying in. Unless we get in a situation where we absolutely need Romano. <clears throat> this makes it a lot easier. Because they need two guys on to make it a threat to win, to tie the game. So, just let JoJo take care of this. He was part-time closer last year. year before. There we go, Donovan. Two quick outs. See if he likes his change up. Got him. All right. Three nothing shutout. That's how it goes, boys. Jordan got us going early. Two hits for Donnie, two for Newtbar, two for Arenado. Naylor and Wynn didn't get hits. Wynn had a two-run homer stolen. Arenado two doubles, Walker with a home run, Walker with his 101st RBI. Naylor's close. Edmund needs one more for 90 himself, one more steal for 30. Three hits, no walks, seven Ks. Strong start for Sonny. All right, we got two more of these to play. We're going to do three full games today, and that's it. So. That's Memphis. Who started? Cutliff. Ace Cowan. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. What did Cutliff do here? So JC hit a home run. Cutliff gave it up four and six innings. What's up, Specta? How you doing? All right, sim this game. And we sweep the Brewers. After they swept us at home, we sweep them at home. Naylor and Gorman with home runs. Bybee pitched great. Romano gets the save. We have a nine-game lead over the Brewers, 10 over the Pirates. Are they even going to make the playoffs? Yeah, looks like they're both going to make the playoffs. So the Pirates would play... Could play us or... Uh, no. Yeah, it looks like they would play us. These two teams would play. The Pirates would play us. Actually, Phillies, Dodgers, Cardinals. No. Pirates would play the Dodgers, Brewers, and Diamondbacks. And then the winners would get us or the Phillies. <laughs> you haven't gone to bed yet? <sighs> what 
Well, we got the gameplay video today. I haven't seen it yet since he said it's uh, really good and I'll be happy. So um, when we're done playing today, I'll go check it out. See if we're still leading. Josh Naylor is number two for the MVP. Look at that. And Painter is still number one for Rookie of the Year. I will definitely pitch his first, or his first, his last start of the season. Make sure we get this guy at least 15 wins as a rookie. That would be awesome. All right. Go to Detroit. Walker Buehler and Matt Manning. Come on, Walker. And it's an 8-7 to seven slugfest. Donovan and Rangifo with RBI. Buehler pitched okay. Bullpen all shit the bed. Yeah, we're going to trade away A.J. smith Shaver in the offseason. He's just not cutting it. Um, I have a deal with the Mets in line that I can go get uh, a left fielder. I think his name is Clifford or something like that. I don't have it written down anymore. I think I threw the paper away. It's this guy right here. I can trade him to the Mets for, yeah, Ryan Clifford. They will make this deal. So we'll probably make that deal in the offseason. <clears throat> and the reason why I would do that, it says left field, but look at this. Let me go back to the Mets. He can play first base. So he could be the replacement for Naylor after Naylor leaves, possible. So, yeah, we will we will make that deal in the offseason as soon as we can. Look at these stats. 102 for Walker, 98 for Naylor. Edmonds got 89. Gorman's got 82. Look at all these guys. Donovan, these guys can get hot. We'll have all these guys with at least 70 ribs. One, two, three, four, five guys. Five guys with 20 or more home runs, and we have... Three more at 19 and one at 17. So we could have an entire starting lineup of 20 home run guys. <laughs> yeah, got to love that. All right. Casey Mize and Andrew Painter. Come on, Andrew. Nope. He's struggling. Jordan Walker, two more home runs and four more RBI. Yeah, Painter got lit up. What's that do to his chances for this award? He's still there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to pitch. So he's got one, two, three, four. He'll pitch against the Reds. One, two, three, four. Reds and Pirates. We get this division. I might pitch both games with Painter just to try to. Uh, he's had two bad starts in the Sim. And I don't want him to lose this award because uh the Sim. So we may pitch both games with Painter here. So. Sorry to double up on someone in the same episode, but I want that award. It gets us an extra high draft pick. And we come back and win 6-1. to one. Valdez pitches great. He's 16-6. and six. He's the big free agent signing we had in the offseason. And we have a 9.5 game lead on the division. So he's done. He's done what we wanted from him. He's been kind of up and down. He'll pitch great. He'll be dominant. And then he'll get lit up and it's back and forth so all right Phillies are our main competition in the National League so let's see how we do in the sim and we get a six to one win Walker with another home run Gorman and Contreras with home runs three RBIs for Contreras Sonny Gray pitches great again he's got 12 wins all of a sudden all right we have 94 wins Yeah, we're, we don't absolutely shit the bed down the stretch. We'll end up with the number two seed in the National League and get a bye. American League Astros with 96, Twins with 93. Wow, American League East is garbage. <clears throat> All right, one more. Bybee, 9-1 to one win. We are dominating them. Gorman and Edmund with home runs. That should put Edmund right at 90 RBI, roughly. Contreras with two more. Naylor with three, so that should give him 100. Bybee pitches great. That gives him 15 wins. Let's go look at this one more time. 
There we go. Jordan Walker and Josh Naylor both with 30 and 100. And if Walker can get hot, he might get to 300 on his average. Edmonds got a shot to get to 300. Um, 200 innings for Valdez. Look at all these wins. Double digits for all of them. Two guys with 15. We can get one with Painter. That would give him 15. Bueller has an outside shot. We could end up with four pitchers with 15 wins. Cano pitching great in relief. Wow. Guys are turning it on when they need to. Now I just need to play better in the playoffs. All right. Can we sweep the Phillies? This would give us... Let's see, two and two, three and two, four, five, six and two, seven and two, seven and three. We're ten and three. We are ten and three this episode. This is where we started right here. And we started out one and two. So we're nine and nine and one. Since this game we've won nine, lost one. Wow. And we get another win. Six to two. Edmund, Rangifo, Wynn. Wynn got hit, and Contreras now both have 20, so we're waiting on Arenado and Newt Bar to get their 20th. Walker Bueller gets 14th win. And look at that. Newt Bar, Arenado, and Contreras. Those three guys can each hit one home run. They'll give us the entire starting lineup with 20 or more home runs. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough lineup. All right, so we're going to play this game. We are playing this game right here. <clears throat> and it wants us to wear our throwbacks, and I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to wear... Let's wear these. We'll let the Reds wear their City Connect. There we go. All right, let's go, Painter. As for you, since he will let them wear their throwbacks. Or, I'm sorry, their City Connects. Yeah, skip, fuck off. Skip. God damn. All right, we got Rangifo playing left field over Donovan because we got a lefty on the mound. Well, that was quick. It just threw us right into the game. No pregame. Okay. The only bad thing about these jerseys, Cincy, is you can't read the, the, the logo, the number, or the name on the back. That black on black with not a big enough outline makes it really difficult to read. <laughs> Should have made that in red. Make that Cincy stand out. Throw it. You can't take five steps. That's a play where you have to run and slide like you're sliding into a base and then pop up and throw. Three, six, three. There we go. Damn, just kill me with these blue hits. Hey. 
There we go. Pitch out of that jam. Now we got to shut him down. Don't give up very many hits going forward. All right, Tommy. Oh, that's going to be stroked right at him. It's our first time batting with Ren Gifo. Ren Gifo, however you say his name. All year. This guy crushes lefties. Look at that. 98 contact, 75 power. That's why I got him. But Donovan's hitting so well, it's hard to get him out of the lineup even against lefties. My Rockies franchise from last year, I continued playing it off camera. And uh, I let Brendan Rodgers go, and I got this guy to replace him. And he was awesome in Colorado. Josh is slumping a little here, down to 318. He was hitting almost 330 for a while. Can have a weak contact when it's in the middle of the bat and almost centered up in the PCI. I don't understand. I don't understand. I have sat in those seats right there in that box, just to the right of that crack running underneath the upper deck. I've sat in there many times. Wife used to work for a local uh, grocery store chain, and that was their. They're a sponsor for Cardinal Baseball, and they uh, that's where their, their company box was, directly behind home plate right there. Good chase. That was a very helpful swing there. The ball wasn't even close to being in the strike zone.
All right, got to get the bats going. That might be, nope, that's going to be shy of the warning track. Good contact. Just didn't get it uh, perfect, perfect, I guess, Come on Mason. Mason got pushed up against lefties. He's got over 70 contact and over 70 power against lefties, so he's uh, he bats much higher in the order. Come on, Jaywalk. There we go. Down the line. Dig, dig, dig. Get to third base. That goes all the way to the corner. He scores and Walker ends up with a double. All right, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Home run here. We give you 20. Got him. What a play. I hit the bag, went straight in the air, and I had trouble finding the ball. <laughs> Look at this. Boink. Hit the bag. We run and get there and just got to the bag. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. I gotta get this offense going. He's already up to 40 pitches. Just missed it. Off the end of the bat. Let's go. Come on, Wilson. You need one home run for 20 as well. You and Arnado both. Yeah. Very tardy swing. Good change up. He rolled over that. Tommy, two bags. Let's go, Tommy. Put one in the gap. Hit that ball to right center field, get a double or a triple. Ah, 
terrible swing. Good pitch. Chase. See if he chases this. Oh. Getting the pop out on the cutter, though. That works for me. Gonna be a double. Fuck. Got him. There we go. Put a pitch out of that. Make a mistake up and in. I'm fucking real. I'm so tired of the CPU being fucking gold glovers everywhere on defense. Got to get this offense going.
All right, we've had one mistake pitch all game. We gotta find their mistake pitch at the plate here. Soft tossing lefties are, I mean, insane. <clears throat> there we go. That's a double at least, maybe three. Jordan. Gonna try to get me to pull a ball so the guy can't move up. So we want to get under it. <clears throat> Way out in front of that fastball. All right, full count. <clears throat> Don't help him out. We'll sit middle low. Fuck, right to the shortstop. All right, now we got him to third. So now if we just put the ball in play, away from the pitcher or the third baseman. <clears throat> Fly ball, ground ball in the infield. Just don't strike out now. There we go, and that's going to be a hit. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Adam. Yeah, that's the double play. Hey, at least we tied the game, so that's one thing. You know, and he grounds out. Love it. Ooh. Way to roll over on that curveball. Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate that. Foul. Okay. 
totally missed my spot. Got him. All right. Painter dealing since the, got out of that first inning. Now we need to get some more runs and get him out of the game and get the bullpen. Come on, Contreras. Hit a bomb. Nope. Jammed myself. God damn. I am not swinging the bat. I'm going to take till I get at least one strike. I'm not swinging the bat. Get him out of the game. We can go back and bring in Newt Barr and Donovan. <clears throat> Almost hit him. Got under it. All right. Shit. Good pitch, and he fucking finds a hole. Got him. There we go. I know he's getting tired. Just need to get one run for him. Time to get there. This will probably be his last batter. There we go. Come on. Let's get some runs. Let's go. <clears throat> New pitcher. Got to love it. All right. Where are we at? Nayla Gorman win. Walker. All right. So we're in the middle of all of our good batters. Fuck with these pop ups today. Yeah, batting they are. And we don't have a fifth starter at all. <laughs> we're doing it with smoke and mirrors. I don't have any confidence that we're going to win the division at all. I actually, as a fan, yeah, I'm happy for the Cardinals, but realistically, we need to suck so we can get rid of this fucking GM and manager. And Trevor Bauer is just sitting out there. He would come play for the league minimum, but we don't want to sign him because we don't want to deal with any fan backlash. 
No, they don't want to deal with media backlash. The fans aren't going to have a problem with it. He's better than any pitcher we've got on the roster right now that's not named Ryan Helsley. <laughs> that gold digging bitch has uh, been busted, and uh, he didn't do anything wrong. Can't blackball somebody because the chick asked him to bang her head against the headboard. Oh, another pitch we've got under. Too many fly balls this game. Well, we are not going to let him finish this game. He's not going to get his 15th win, but he's going to have a really good start. So, lefty, righty, righty. Steer's the one I'm most worried about. So, we're going to go to Sandlin. His ERA has ballooned lately. I'm fucking real. First pitch and he hits it out. Come on, boys. Need some runs. All right. Walker. I wish it let me look further down. All right. Walker, Arenado, and then we'll have to pinch hit for Duvall with Newt Bar. See the pitch before you swing. Yeah, there's no reason for Bauer not to be in the major leagues right now. He's being blackballed for bullshit reasons. Nope, another lazy fly ball. Arnado and Contreras both need one home run to get to 20. I'll keep saying that till they get to 20. Those two guys hit 20 home runs. That'll give us all nine guys with 20. If, if Wynn got his 20th earlier. God damn. MLB the pop-up. Fuck you. Let me pinch hit. No, I haven't seen it. I've been streaming. I'll see it later. I knew what time it was coming out, and I was like, I can't wait for it. i got to get this stream in when I can. <laughs> yes! Lars says... Catch that pop fly, motherfucker. That's his 20th. Yeah. 
That was a tee shot. <laughs> Wilson needs one more for 20. Come on, Wilson. Let's go. Too bad we didn't do this when uh, Painter was still in the game. I wanted to get that 15th win. So we'll definitely pitch Painter's last game of the season and try and get him 15 wins. That's all right. All right, Romano's coming in. Lars. He's trying for his 40th, 40th save of the season right here. Got him. Both Ellie and uh, O'Neill Cruz are just garbage in this game. Two down. Let's go. Didn't want that. Yeah, I pre-ordered the game. I did not do the Madden bundle because I have no interest in playing Madden. All right. One run in seven innings, six hits, one walk, six strikeouts. They had four hits in the first two innings, first inning, something like that. He shut them down the rest of the way. <clears throat> yeah, I said uh, earlier before Cincy Bowen came in and told me that I'll, I'll be happy with the gameplay that – uh um, if gameplay is good, then I'll do regular dynasties on my channel, both on Twitch and YouTube. If the gameplay is ass, like Madden, then I would just do sim dynasties. So, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I just did the uh, deluxe version without Madden. So, now we have a 10.5 game lead. Look at the Cubs. 31.5 games out. Here we go, Painter. He's going to win it on his wins and strikeouts alone. We play Castro? No, we don't get him this series. All right. Yeah, expect I'll check it out. Since he gave me the link, so I'll, I'll watch it when we're done. All right, straight sim, and we win 4-1. to one. Donovan and Duvall with home runs. Fromber is 17 and 6. 
That's what we're talking about. Look at Walker, 34 and 108. Tommy's up to 94. If Tommy gets hot the last week, he can end up with 100 also. Yeah, they don't want it on PC because they don't want them to uh, go in and mod it up and put players in the game that uh, don't have NIL. They don't want them adding custom uniforms and all kinds of other shit. The uh, revamp dudes showed what the community can do if you give them the keys. <laughs> so, all right. So Tommy needs six RBIs to get to 100. That's crazy. And look at this. Arenado and Contreras, if they can hit home runs, that would give us an entire starting lineup of 20 home runs. And if Newt Barr and Donovan can get hot, we'll have everybody with 70 RBIs. So we could we could have an entire starting lineup of 20 home runs, 70 plus RBIs, hitting over 270. <laughs> Pitching wise, look at Fromber. 17 and six, Bybee's 15 and eight, Painter is 14 and seven, Bueller's 14 and nine, and Sonny's 12 and four. <laughs> I'll keep playing the revamped version of the game. I have uh, I have a head coach that has a 55 game win streak that I've put on hold for the last two months. That at some point this summer I'll bring the uh, Raging Cajuns back on stream and we'll try to get to 100 wins. <clears throat> we might have to do that at night, late at night. Let's save this. Look at that. We've lost three games this whole month. <laughs> two and two, three, four, five, six, seven and three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and three this month. We're about to go over a hundred wins again. All right, Sonny, can you get the dub? No. And our AAA team won their division, so they're going to go play in the playoffs. And our AA won their first half, so they're going to the playoffs. So both of our AA teams, both of our minor league teams are going to make the playoffs. There's not a whole lot of hitting down there. It's mostly uh, controlled by pitching. Spencer Steer with two home runs. Stevenson with one. Hunter Green pitched well. Gray pitched well, but the bullpen didn't. Walker with another RBI. Duvall played third? What the fuck? Walker, Gorman, Newbar. I don't know. Contreras win. And Gifo. Yeah, let's put Donnie back in there. <clears throat> Got too many left-handed bats, though. So let's go. Let's move him there. And we'll go with that. <clears throat> All right. 11-game lead. And we have clinched the division. All right. We are done with dealing with that. Diamondbacks clinched the playoff spot. We have 98 wins, two games behind the Phillies for the best record. So we have five games left. Phillies have five, and they got to play the Braves and the Indians. And we play the Twins and the Pirates. And they're 97 wins and they're 87 wins. So we have a tougher schedule here. All right. I don't think we're going to get number one seed, but we'll see. Straight Sim. Boom. Six to one win over the Twins. Donovan, Naylor, and Wynn with 
home runs, win three RBI. Tanner Bybee pitches great against uh, Minnesota for a 16th win. The Phillies lost 15 to 13. <laughs> wow. McAble got beat up. He's got 15 wins also. So we're one game behind the Phillies for the best record in, in the National League. And the Astros for the best record in baseball. All right. Get this dub. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. And our AAA team got knocked out. We win 15-4. to four. Gorman, Edmund, and Contreras with home runs. Three RBI for Tommy. So that might get him to 100. Gorman with five. Walker with two. Walker pitched okay. Let's go check out Philadelphia. And they lost. So we are tied with Philadelphia for the best record in the National League. And Tommy needs three RBIs to get to 100. Gorman needs one to get to 90. And Newt Bar needs five RBI to get to 70. And Arenado is the only one that doesn't have 20 home runs. So one home run for Arenado, five RBIs by Newt Bar. That would give us a whole team of 20 homer, 70 RBI players. That's crazy. And we have 100 wins. And both minor league teams lost in the playoffs. Astros, 102 wins. All right. This is our last game that we're going to uh, play a full game. I want to get this win for Painter. Skeens and Valdez, Sonny Gray and Mitch Keller. Uh, we'll have everybody on full rest because we'll not have to play the first round. So we'll be back to our, our top of our rotation. And when we get to the playoffs, um, Valdez, Bybee, Painter, Bueller, Gray. Um, we might just move... Bueller to the bullpen because we're only going to have five games, so we might put him in the pen. He's got the least amount of strikeouts of everybody in the highest whip. Send this guy to the minors. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Play this game at Pittsburgh, trying to get him his 15th win. I apologize for using two, the same pitcher twice. Yeah, City Connect. Let's go with this. Um, but I really want to get him 15 wins. This is our A number one lineup, so let's go. Nope. Soto's hot. He's hitting 352. He's been out twice with injuries this year. So they're they're they have their regular lineup in. Pirates would have been a much stronger contender for the division if Soto hadn't gotten hurt twice. And this is their City Connect. Throwback to the 70s and early 80s when they wore those very loud uniforms. As a kid who uh, was around that time, I thought they were awesome. I didn't really like their pinstripes. They had yellow with black, so it was a triple pinstripe. I really didn't like those. I liked the yellow, the all yellow, the all black, and then the mixture of the yellow and black together. I thought they were awesome. I used to love the A's uniforms from the 70s as well. Gold jerseys, the green jerseys. All the teams were baby blue. Oh, that's out of here. That's going to be gone. That's going to be gone. Boom, there it is.
NFL, um, since we've lost the Cardinals and the Rams, I don't have a hometown team anymore. I like the Broncos, but they're trying to force me to uh, root for someone else. I don't like their new owners, and the new uniforms they introduced for this year are complete ass. They are ugly as sin. I'd rather go back to what they wore in the 80s than the bullshit they're going to make them wear this year. So, I don't know. If it wasn't for fantasy football, I wouldn't watch the NFL anymore at all. <laughs> Already dropped the NBA, about ready to drop NFL. Yeah, I like Peyton. I like them with the Saints. We'll see how he does with uh, the guys you have now. I was not a fan of the Bo Nix pick, but, you know, if he works out, he works out. I thought they should have taken something else. I think they reached. Oh, yes. Get down. Get down. Stay. Don't go over the wall. Thank you very much. A faster runner, and that's a triple. If that was Win or Edmund or somebody like that, that's an easy triple. That's his 29th double. Yeah, I used to live out there. Um, I watched all of Elway's career. I was I went to college in Colorado, so I was there from June of 83 to June of 88. So I got to see Elway when he was first playing in the NFL. I was uh, at a bar with my dad in Denver watching the game against the Browns when they had the, the drive, the 98-and-a-half-yard drive to go all the way down and get him to the Super Bowl. They should have beat the Giants in their first Super Bowl with him. That's, uh, is that going to be out of here? Nope. It's going to be a double, and that's another ribby. We're just smoking the shit out of Domingo Herman. <laughs> Come on, Lars. We need Arnado to hit a home run. He throws it away into the stands, and that's going to give us another run. Come on, Nolan. Park one. Get us 20. Come on. Nope, got under it. It's not deep enough to go to third either. All right, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. Trying to see his RBI. 97 needs three. Ah, oh, that's a terrible pitch. Terrible pitch. What am I swinging at? Anybody who just dropped into the uh, stream, we uh, have already clinched the division. We have 100 wins, and we are trying to uh, get the number one seed away from Philadelphia. We are currently tied for the best record in the National League. And we are starting with rookie Andrew Painter, trying to get him his 15th win and get a Rookie of the Year award, which will give us a high, high draft pick after the first, right after the first round. <laughs> he swung before that ball was halfway there. <clears throat> oh, 
There we go. Wanted the strikeout, but I'll take the out. <clears throat> this is the this is our last um, game that we're going to play today. We were just going to play three full games and no player locks or anything like that. Um, I want to get back in the swing of playing full games before we have to play the playoffs. God damn it. Come on, throw a strike. He swung at that. Wow. That was going to hit him. I hung a curveball and he flied out. Talk about a gift. My goodness. Uh, can't be swinging at first pitches. And he boots it. All right. I'll take that. Way to go, Anil. Mason's up to 270. Be patient. Good pitch, late decision to swing. Here we go, get a steal for win. And that kicks in Naylor's clutch now. <clears throat> Base hit will be a run. There it is. Manufactured that run. Mm, trying to drive that to right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm shocked the second baseman didn't catch that ball. Usually those little liners over short and second, they grab. Come on, Gorman. Ah. Stay back and wait. We were so far out in front. Wasn't even in the strike zone. Whatever.
Can't believe he got a hold of that one. All right, let's throw him a slider down there. There we go. Had to work for that one. Kind of like those helmets, too. Got him. This cutter's working today. Just couldn't get it. Oh yeah, I used to play NHL back in the day. I used to love playing Sega. But the newer versions of the game are uh, not good for playing. I tried to play like 23. Fucking gave up four goals in the first period and quit. I was like, yeah, this game does not play fair at all. So, fuck it. My son plays it. I don't like him. I quit playing those games too. Oh. Yeah, it's because of EA. There we go. Ooh, good pitch. Throw me a fastball. He's fouling shit off. <clears throat> yeah, my son plays that. He loves to play. But I uh, I don't like the game mechanics. Didn't right give up too many goals. <clears throat> um, I don't know. we got to wait till the season's over. Because the, um, the draft picks don't show up until the offseason. season. So I'm going to look and see if he's sitting out there among free agents. And if he is, then I'll go grab him. If not, then I'll just grab any 21-year-old player and 21-year-older uh, from Dominican and uh, add him to the team and create recreate that dude. Still can't believe they uh, swapped out my player. This game seems like it's taking forever. This guy throws so many pitches. Oh, 
I'm going to tell you right now, if we win the World Series, Arenado's going bye-bye. Well, he might go bye-bye anyway because he's regressing so much and he's costing me so much money. But um, I've got some young players that need to come up and play. And I could use his salary somewhere else. Where, I don't know. Contreras is another one. That, uh, by the way, that center fielder, I'm going to move to right field because I have so many center fielders in the organization. That might be out of here, folks. That might be out. Oh, it's going to hop over and be a ground rule double, and it's going to send that guy back to third base. God damn. If that doesn't bounce over, it's easy two runs. Marquez. Goes from being number one pitcher in Colorado to a bullpen arm. <laughs> Oof. Mason. Got a lot of that one. Just tardy. At least this guy throws a little more velocity. Herman was just floating shit up there. Alright, that'll get another run in, get the guy to third. So Batten, I haven't watched you on Twitch at all. You uh what games do you stream games too? What games do you stream? That's the line drive right to Sawinski. Understand that all my kids are grown my youngest one is going to be 24 this year I have six grandkids <laughs> five granddaughters and one grandson I call them the fab five the girls we have two grandkids that were born since October so we got two young ones 23 yeah my oldest son is uh, he just turned 29. Ooh. Go get it, Lars. Oh, Naylor. He's not very tall, but he skied to go get that one. That was targeted for the corner. <laughs> He's only like 5'11". I probably could have caught that ball standing flat-footed. Come on, Josh. As Mike Shannon, our old longtime announcer, used to say, Oh, Abner's done it again. Guy makes a great play on defense, and he leads off the next inning. Almost hit it off the foul pole. That was a long way the other way. Come on, Jaywalk. He need to get you up to 300, man. Ah, not swinging at shit like that. Ah. 
Jammed me. Jammed me. Come on, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Let's go. Ooh, tardy. Caught me looking at the scoreboard to see what my stats were. Milwaukee's dropped to third. Man, they fell apart. <clears throat> nice. Hey. Anytime you can work from home, don't have to travel. Kind of like that. I'm in the middle of uh, doing some certification stuff to uh, do bookkeeping. I don't want to go back to school and get an accounting degree, so... Just going to be a bookkeeper, not an accountant, and uh, trying to finish that up, which would allow me to either go in and work at an office somewhere or do freelance and work from home, which means I could do their their books whatever time I wanted, day or night. I could do it at three o'clock in the morning if I wanted to. If I did it to uh, start my own business. Then I can work whatever hours I want, take off whenever I want, stream, get still stream and make money. Apparently, if you go to work at their place, you'll make like 25 bucks an hour. But if you freelance it and work for yourself, I can charge 40 to 50 bucks an hour. And not have to drive anywhere. Ever since COVID, people forgot how to drive, man. They're fucking maniacs out there on the road. Can we go get that before it goes into the stands? No. They're horrible. When I go ref, because I ref volleyball for a high school club and college, and I, I go ref, it's just like, oh, God, really? Got him. Let's go. This game is taking forever. This will be the last game we stream. We'll sim the other two games. Our minor league teams are done. Oh. Um. That's a rope. Get down. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll sim the first round so I, we know who we're playing. And I'm very seriously considering uh, streaming tomorrow morning early like 9 central time and see if we can't win a first round uh, if we do stream tomorrow and we do win then the next round won't be until I flinched it'll be Tuesday before we play again because that'll be four days in a row and you do something else what's up tight spot Dude, we're battling Philadelphia for the number one seed. We have only lost three times the entire month of uh, September. Thank you for that shout-out, Spectre. And uh, Painter is dealing in this game. He was dealing in last game, and we're trying to get him to 15 wins and win Rookie of the Year, man. No, I started streaming before that video went live. So once I'm done streaming, I'll go watch that. Since he Bowen said that uh, I'll be happy with the gameplay, so we'll see. I've, I've been telling everybody since day one, the only thing that matters is gameplay. All the other bells and whistles are just a distraction. We need good fucking gameplay, not Madden gameplay, right? If Tommy hits a three-run homer here, he ends up with 100 RBI. Didn't get it. Did not get it. And we're going to send him. That's a bad throw, and Arnado's going to score. There we go. All right, I'm sorry, this Newt bar. 
I hope so. I've been kind of pessimistic because we know the track record for EA. I mean, I want it to be good. I want it to be a good game. I want to play a new game that's good. And I want to play college football that's good. Um, so I need, uh, I need them to come through. Oh, that's going to be out of here. Mason Wynn just went yard, folks. There we go. Specta, the real th the real th test is going to be when we start playing and and people that have stick skills and football IQ and uh, know how to manipulate the CPU like we do from NWO. That'll be the test. I had this conversation with Jimmy and Lou the other night because uh, no one else was was in the uh, Discord before our game and. Uh, I was like, you're going to give us time to play this game and figure out how to recruit and do all this stuff before we jump in because um, it's a brand new fucking game and, and I feel like we all need a little bit of time, a little bit of runway to get going so that when we start streaming again, it's a good product. And Lou had a say of, you know, well, if we start early then we'll be the only ones streaming and we'll get a wider audience, which I get that 100%, but I also want us to play the game and play it well. And so we might need a little bit of time to get up to speed. Man, his cutter has been on fire today. This game and last game. Yeah, there's going to be an adjustment, and some people will make that adjustment quicker than others. I also don't want 19 people in the league, and it's hard enough to get games scheduled as it is. We don't need some extra yahoos in there being a pain in the ass to get games scheduled. There we go. I am not going to throw a complete game with Painter. Um, I just want to get this dub to get 15 wins and not wreck his ERA. I'd love to get the ERA down some. He's already at 75 pitches, so he might only go six innings. We have a 9 nothing lead. In fact, once we get to like the 8th and ninth, we might sub some other guys in so we don't get some injuries. Empty our bench out. This guy used to pitch for the Cardinals. Anybody just popping in? We've already clinched the division, and we're battling Philadelphia for the best record. There's three days, three games left, and I think we were tied going into these last three games. And our rookie pitcher, Andrew Painter, is going to get his 15th win. I'm going to give him one more inning, and then I'm going to get him out of there. Get through. Thank you. 
Trying to get him up to 290. In fact, let's get him out of the game right now. Come on now. Yeah, way out in front. <coughs> Going to bring in Henry Davis here soon, too. Probably for uh, Donovan. We'll move. Um, move Newt Bar to left to put Davis in right. Bring in Burleson to play first. Get through. Get through. Safe. It's another error. It's like the third of the game by uh, O'Neill Cruz. Come on, Nolan. We need you to hit a bomb. We need one more for 20. They'll give us an entire starting lineup of 20 home runs. Ah. Plus, it gets you up to 80 RBI. I'm going to leave him in. I'm not taking him out. Tried to go down and get that and shoot at the right. Come on, man. See it and hit it. One more ball puts the runners in motion. All right, 3 2. It's a rope and it's caught. Shit. You are going to be you. There and you become Burleson, and there we go. son, younger son calling me. He usually plays golf on Saturdays and Sundays. Ah, oh, Davis, get there, get there. There we go. How did he drop that? Double play wipes that out. <clears throat> I wish they wouldn't shift on these guys so much. I didn't tell them to shift. I hate the shift. There goes the shutout. That's good. I hope it's good gameplay. Got 
Got him. All right, inning over. He's done. Painter is done. No more for him. Gave up one unearned run. <clears throat> now I just want to get this game over with. We'll take Contreras out after this at bat. Yeah, I don't worry about the bells and whistles like that stuff. Just uh, give me good gameplay. They can add that stuff later. Mason with a big home run earlier. Absolute rocket. <clears throat> Ooh, got under that one. Look at that. Good timing, just underneath it, and weak. is terrible against lefties. Just like Ellie. So let that drop so we don't get a sack fly. Got him. That was a clutch strikeout. Needed that. there nope no Bartman play on that one <clears throat> all right pitched around that triple six outs to go regular season will be over can sim the first round and see who's in the uh, first round of the playoffs for us to get through. This guy's built like a softball player. Jordan. If you want to hit 300, we got to get a hit here. There we go. Down into the corner. That's another double. All the way to the corner. Dig, 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 slide. Safe. There we go. 43rd double. 
to go with 30 plus home runs. <laughs> Swinging that pitch over my head. <laughs> you can tell I want to get this game over with. Come on. Hang on. If he has a fast inning, I'll just leave him in. That should buy him another batter or two in the ninth. All right, guys. Only thing I need here, shooting for a home run by Arenado to give him 20. And that would give us an entire starting lineup of 20 home runs. I'm in hack mode right now. Just want to get the game over. Like I said, I just want to get the game over. All right, Nolan. through. Hey, three hit game for Nolan. Tommy still needs three RBIs for 100. Hit a tank here to make it a lot easier. I just need one in the last two days. Yep, double play. All right, let's get these last three outs and be done. Arnado's got to run forever because he's basically playing shortstop with that shift. Got him. 
set that pitch up with those two curveballs or sliders. O'Neill wants to hack. Let's backdoor him, see if we can get him to chase. Or take. And throw one more out there. Got him. And that's a winner, boys and girls. We won the division. And we got Andrew winner. Painter, his 15th win of the season as a rookie. Hopefully that seals the deal. Get that Rookie of the Year award. <clears throat> two hits for Naylor, two for Walker, two for Gorman, three for Arenado. Donovan and Wynn with home runs. Win with a steal. Painter, six innings, five hits, no walks. One unearned run, five Ks, finishes 15 and seven as a rookie. That should seal the deal right there. All right, we got to sim these next two games. <clears throat> We're going to play all of our, we equaled our win total from last year. We had 101 wins last year. And we are a game ahead of Philly with two left. They're on a losing streak. So if we win this game, we clinch number one seed. And it's Paul Skeens against Fromber Valdez. Fromber's going for his 18th win. <clears throat> and we'll push the button and see what happens. And we win. We clinch the number one seed in the National League. Jordan Walker with two home runs. Newt Barr with three ribs. Edmund with one. <clears throat> Fromber's 18-6 and six in his first game with the Cardinals. Romano got his 42nd save. Tommy got his 30th steal. And we clinched the best record in the National League. Well, I take that back. The Phillies won, so we're one game ahead. So if we lose... All right. I, I was premature. Look at this. So we've only lost four games the whole month. And uh, Sonny's got to beat Keller to give us our number one seed. And the Phillies have Nola against Cleveland. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. Well, let me do this. And the Phillies win. All right. So we have to win this game to get the number one seed, is what it's telling me. All right, let's save. So we don't lose that excellent start by Painter. <clears throat> Let's do this. We will quick manage. What other uniforms do they have? Yeah, those are the ones I was talking about. Let's have them wear these. We can wear, let's just wear our regular roads. <clears throat> Sunny gray. Skip. All right. Triple fly out walk. Double by Soto, single by Alonzo, or two run homer by Reynolds, down three to nothing. It's three to one. Four to one. Ball 
All right. Sonny's got to come out. And who we got? Let's bring in Thompson. <laughs> he comes in and gives up a 3 number. All right, so it looks like Philadelphia is going to get the uh, best record. Walks the fucking bases loaded. Dude. Alright, let's see if we can get this home run by Arenado. We got a hit down into the corner. Is he going to be fast enough to get a double? We're going to try. Chug, chug, chug. Get down. There we go. Tommy's got 100 RBIs. All right. That's incredible. <laughs> we have three guys with 100 ribs in this team. All right. And that's the season right there. Well, we shit the bed on the last game of the season. Fucking pitching was horrendous that game. All right. Still... We won 102 games, right? So we beat last year's number. And we are the number one seed. Wow. Okay. We did get the number one seed. So... Astros won 105. So, nationally goes through St. Louis. So, we're going to play the winner of Pittsburgh and Arizona. Dodgers and Milwaukee will have to take on Philadelphia. Wow. We could have we could have three teams from the Central in the uh, NLDS, <laughs> which would guarantee at least one of them in the NLCS. All right. Let's save this before we go look at final stats and... Awards and league and uh, stat champions. All right. Here it is. Andrew Painter. Gold gloves for Arenado, Edmund, and Newt Bar. Andrew Painter. National League Rookie of the Year. I'll take another picture in there. MVP was Otani. Betts was second. Harper third. American League was Judge over Tucker and Jordan. Strider got Cy Young based on strikeouts alone, even though Montgomery won 21 games. And had an ERA a full run lower. This game is geared too much towards strikeouts. Pablo Lopez went 20 and 5. Wow. Lee Boyle. This is the guy that we didn't get in the draft the first year. We just missed by two. Throws 200 innings with 228 strikeouts. Yeah, I think he's working out just fine for Oakland. He would have been in our rotation this year. We would have not needed to sign Valdez. <laughs> um, 
Batting title goes to Judge and Freeman. Naylor finished third. Reliever of the year, Bednar and Abreu. Rookie of the year, Walter Jenk. I'm sorry, Walker Jenkins. And Andrew Painter. There we go. That'll get us another high pick. Otani gets the Hank Aaron. Judge gets it in the other league. Gold Glove. Alcantara. Moreno. Walker. Arenado gets it at third. Edmund in center. Newt Bar in right. American League. Silver Slugger. Otani beats out Jordan Walker for DH. Naylor gets a Silver Slugger at first. Gorman finishes second to Albies at second. <clears throat> Edmund. Tommy Edmund gets a Silver Slugger. American League. All right, there we go. Jordan Walker just missed 200 hits by three. Edmund by 10. Look at that, 26, 132. My goodness, Tommy had a had a season. What's our war? He had a 7.2 war. <laughs> Corman was six. Naylor was 5.8. That's because not only did he put up the Stats. He had 329 putouts with no errors. Wow. Almost had four guys with 100 uh, runs scored. Arenado just couldn't finish it off. Otherwise, we'd had a whole starting lineup of 20 home run guys. Mason Wynn, 20 and 80. He's progressing really well. It's his second year of 22 and 80, 33, 32 doubles, 10 triples. Dropped his strikeouts below 100 finally. Got his oh, uh, on base up. Slugging's almost five, so yeah, he's done really well. You got to let him play. Mr. Hurricane sent him to the minors after this season here. Got to let him play. Can't develop. Just got to trust it. Gorman's second straight 35 home run season, 90 RBI. He's getting better with his slugging and his on base, so he's progressing really well. Jordan Walker, look at that. Slugging's down a little bit. That's mostly because his hits, he had nine less hits. And 15, 13 more at-bats. His strikeouts went down, walks went up, that's good. If his defense would better would be better, I would shift him to third base instead of uh, Arenado, but I'm worried about the errors. <laughs> Donovan, he's uh, his hitting's gone up. Everything else is regressing a little bit. Still a hit machine. 25 home runs is ridiculous for him. Lars, career high. Home runs, RBIs. Contreras is regressing, but he's doing well. We've got two more years of him. Arnado has one more year. Gorman's got two more years there. Walker's got three more years. Tommy's only got one more year. We're going to need a center fielder after next year. Pitching wise, 200 innings for Fromber, 18 wins. Tanner, 16 wins. Painter, second best pitcher in the starting rotation. Everybody's on fire. And he got 15 wins. 179 hits and 183. That's because we pitched those two games. 74 walks, only 21 home runs allowed, 172 on his Ks, 19 quality starts. Bip under four. 
bullpen was okay. Could have been better. Romano. Yeah, he had some blown saves in there. Not many, three. It just seemed like he got hit hard whenever he did get hit. This is the worst year going back to 2019 for ERA. So, wow. Freeman, 203 hits. Dodgers are just crazy. They only won 95 games. <clears throat> Doubles, triples, home runs. Nothing crazy. RBI. Run scored. Corbin Carroll, 50 steals. Esty Ruiz, 53. On base. Slugging. OPS, Otani, and Judge were crazy. Montgomery with the ERA. Brady Singer. Okay. All those strikeouts. All right. Save this one more time, and we are done with our regular season. And I said we were going to sim ahead to uh, see who we play in the first round. So let's just do this. Yes, advance. And the Angels win game one against Texas. Pittsburgh wins game one against Arizona. Pirates beat Arizona two straight. So we're going to take on the Pirates Next episode, best of five against the Pirates. The Angels knock off Texas. So the Angels are going to play Houston. And Baltimore beat the Yankees. The number six knocks off the number three Yankees. And the Dodgers beat Milwaukee. So the Dodgers and the Phillies. And we get to play Pittsburgh good. So we're only going to have to face one of those two guys. And we're rooting for Philadelphia because they're not stacked like L.A. is. <clears throat> we get to play Pittsburgh. Minnesota takes on Baltimore. Houston takes on the Angels. So, Valdez against Libertor. Libertor sucks. Sonny Gray will, will be Bybee instead, and this will be Painter. So, we'll have to adjust our rotation. Let me do that right now before we forget. Plus, we have to we're going to move Walker there. And I need to take him out and put Thompson in. All right, that's what we're going to roll with. All right, what did it do with our lineup? Because I'm sure it jacked it all up. Yeah, the call-ups, JC and Victor Scott and Henry Davis. That's not... I don't mind having Davis over Herrera. That's okay. Um, he needs to go back because we need Harold... Let me think. Maybe we don't. Maybe we let him stay up.
Victor Scott would give us a much better defensive player and a stolen base threat over Burleson. He's limited defensively. Actually, I kind of like that. I, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. All right, let's check this out. Against lefties. Got that. Dr. Taco, how you doing? Thank you for the sub. How the hell are we at 500? I don't know. It's that, that cardinal magic, that cardinal voodoo. I don't know. I don't know. And we're doing it without a number five starter. It's ridiculous. Don't know. It's pissed me off because I want Ali fired. <laughs> Here, if you just popped in, this is what we did. 102 wins, and we have the number one seed in the playoffs. Here, check this out. Did you see Tommy? 26 homers, 100 RBIs, 32 steals. And he made no errors and got a gold glove. <laughs> and a silver slugger. How he hit 26 bombs and drove in 100. Yeah. We, Arenado's the only starter that didn't hit 20 home runs. Everybody else had, he had 19. Everybody else had over 20 or 30. Josh had 39 with 104, hit 320. Walker, 36, 113, 298. Mason had 22 and 80. Gorman had 35 and 90. Arenado was 19 and 77. Yeah, no, Tommy Edmund Power. Um... Donovan had 25 bombs. <laughs> Fromber won 18 games. Newt Bar had 20. Contreras had 20. Here, look. Rookie of the year. 15 and 7. Gets us an extra first, high first round pick. So, and we're going to take on the Pirates. And the first game of the series is Valdez against Matthew Libertor. We traded Libertor for Henry Davis. So Libertor is uh, is their number one. You're not Skeens. So Bybee will go against Skeens. Painter against Keller. And this will be Sonny Gray. <clears throat> Nola versus Mike Liss. Yeah, I know Mike Liss is going to shit the bed. All right, let's save this, and we're done. We are done. And uh, I'm going to try to be back and play this series tomorrow morning at like 9 central time. Um, if I don't play this tomorrow, I will definitely play it Tuesday. But I'm not playing Sunday and Monday. Um, I think we have an NWO game tonight, I believe. It's a Dark Specta against uh, Coach Brousseau, so... Penn State against uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's number one in the nation. So come watch us tonight. I believe that game is at 8 Central Time, right, Specta? Head-to-head -head user league, playing NCAA 14. Uh, new game comes out. We'll shift over to that. Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to raid out, and then I'm going to go watch the gameplay that I didn't get to see from this morning since I was live. It's on that, that link right there. NWO underscore L. Just click that link and go sub. Um, I don't. I didn't sign up to call that game, but I, I might. Who knows? Typically 49er George and Lou and Jimmy call those, and I jump in every once in a while. But uh, so... When the new game comes out, I will be doing. I will still be doing MLB the show with the Cardinals, and I will. I will do uh, NCAA 25 content as well. 
I'm going to tell you right now the very first few streams when I get I have live when I have the early access, we're just going to load up whatever dynasty and we're just going to sim. We're not going to care whether we win or lose. All I want to do is dive into the recruiting and the transfer portal and all that good stuff and see what it's like with uh, coaches and coordinators and hiring and firing and poaching coordinators from other teams and having to deal with losing players. So that's what we're going to do early to figure out how that works. Um, but once we get past that and I figure out which team I want to start with, then we will have a an NCAA dynasty and we'll keep playing this. I will keep playing the Cardinals through the fall into the winter. We're going to keep playing. We're going to play for a while. Um, I'm not going to stop. We'll just do both for a while. Um, but anybody who knows my NCAA gets way more views than uh, MLB on my channel. I had a I had an Arkansas stream. It wasn't even a episode. It was just a three hour stream, almost four hours, and it got I don't know, almost nine thousand views. So, which is crazy for just an archive stream. <laughs> so I'll be back doing that in July, while I'm trying to get a full time job. So anyway. You guys have a good rest of the day, good weekend. I'm going to try to stream the first round tomorrow. Um, here's my Discord if you guys want to go there. Oh, that's not, I hit that. You can come join my Discord. I will put updates when I'm going to stream and stuff on there. If I change my mind and I'm not going to stream, I'll tell you why. But anyway... Let's figure out who we can go raid. KD's got MLB the show. Let's just go raid KD. He's pretty chill. You like KD. And uh, go ahead and give him some love. We'll get that raid started. And uh, when you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. And I'll go check out the gameplay. And I'm sure I'll have my opinion on that over on the Discord for the NWO. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good rest of the day. Good weekend if I don't see you again. And uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>